Hi guys, myself Akhil in this video we shall see another problem on lead code. Rotate list. So given the head of the link list, we have to rotate the list to the right by k places. That means in the given example first, they told k equal to. So the last two nodes will get rotated. So first five will move to the beginning, this is first rotation and second rotation k equal to right. So the second rotation four will get moved to the beginning. And we have to return the result as like this. So here you could see k equal to 4. So initially k equal to 5 for the first rotation, 2 is moved to the front. For the second rotation, from here 1 is moved. That means this is here. And for the third rotation, you could see 0 is moved to the front. And for the third rotation, you could see that is equal to the original linked list itself. Right? So there is nothing but length of the linked list. Next, for the fourth rotation, again the 2 is moved to the front. So one thing what you can observe here is whatever the multiples of linked list you have, uh, sorry, length of the linked list you have, that will ret uh, result in the same linked list as the original linked list. So if k equal to 3 or k equal to 6, k equal to 9, k equal to 12, everything will result in the original linked list. You could see here k equal to 3 is resulting in the same linked list because 3 times it's rotating the node 1 by 1. So, one thing which we need to take care of is the given problems. So if they are given uh, to rotate the increase by k times and that is a greater than length or something, k modulus length you have to do. So here 4 modulus 3 in the given example that will give you a remainder as 1. So basically yeah, you need to rotate the increase only by 1, k equal to 1. So k will be equal to k modulus length. So you have rotated, see, you have rotated the link list by one time actually. So you only have moved to the front position. That is only one rotation which you are doing. Hence, to find the length, what we need to do? Yeah, we have at first we have to traverse to the link list and find the length. We will uh, we'll have a uh, pointer called current that is pointing to head of the link list and one by one we will traverse and find the length of the linkless. Here the length will be equal to 5 in this case. Once you get length of the linkless, now the current will be pointing over here at the end after finding the length of the linkless. So now point current dot next to the beginning of the linkless. Okay. So once you found, found the length, current will be pointing at the end of the linked list and the point current dot next to the beginning of the linked list. So current dot next will be equal to head. So after pointing this, now perform this. K will be equal to K modulus length. In, if in case, instead of uh, telling K equal to 2, if they say K equal to 2, well, so 5 and 10. That is okay. The result is the same thing. The extra 2a we need to rotate. So 12 modulus length will be nothing but 5. That will give you 2 as the answer. k equal to 2 apparently same. So now we have k equal to 2. That means the last two nodes which we need to rotate. So in the sense, see we have pointed out the last node to the beginning of the link list, right? So now only thing which we need to do the last two nodes, right? This should become head and break down this and this should point to null. That is what we need to do. Again, I'll repeat. The last two nodes we have to rotate and we have the last pointer pointing to the current dot next pointed to head. Now what we need to do? K equal to accept the last two nodes, point the last node, but uh, the and last two nodes, four, point it to head and break this and point this to null, previous to null. So how do we do this operation? If we do this, yeah, this will result here only because 3 is pointing null and 4 is head. We will get the result then. But how do we do this? That is a question. So for performing this, uh, we know the last two nodes, right? So k will become length minus k. 5 minus k how much? 3 here. So what we do is, we move the current pointer till here. k equal to 3 nodes. I mean total length minus the last two nodes which we need to rotate. That 
that is 3 here. So until the third one, we will move the current pointer. So once the current pointer is pointing over here, now point current dot next. Now point head should be equal to current dot next. So this will become head now. And now after pointing head equal to current dot next, now point current dot next equal to null. Got it? So the ordering is very important. If you initially do current dot next equal to null, then you cannot do head equal to current dot next. It will point to null. Again, head will point to null. That's why current dot next point it to head. So head will be current dot next. After doing this, now current dot next will point to null. So that is how they break the link over here. So I will repeat again. I at first find the length of the link place. After finding length of the link place, point the last node, correct, which is pointing to the head. So after pointing it to head, now k equal to k modulus n. Because extra repetition is not required. So that's why you will do this. So two, twice we have to do here. And except these two nodes, till the th three nodes, length minus these two nodes, till there you traverse the current head. So that is how we do until k approaches to 0, current will be equal to current dot next. What we do? So initially current will be pointing over here, right? So k equal to 3 initially. So current dot next will point here. So k will become 2. Is it 0? No. Again current dot next will point here. k equal to 1 now. Is it 0? No. Again current dot next will point here. And k will be 0 this time. Once k is 0, now you go out of this loop. So now point current not next. Head will be current not next and current not next will be equal to that. That is how you return the link list. So we will have a list node. Okay, before doing this, what if the length of the link is 0 or 1? Because we have so more range 0 to 100. So if length of the link is 0 or 1, then directly we have to return that head result. Nothing we have to do. Any notation you do, that will result in same link list. So first check if head equal to equal to none or head dot next equal to equal to none. Then what we need to do? Just return the head. Otherwise, list no current. Let that be pointing to head initially. And we will have one pointer head length equal to zero. So now uh, length will initialize it to one. Because in this case, I will take current dot next not equal to null. If I take current equal to null, then here, uh, if I take current equal to null, then the last iteration for this while loop will current will point to null. So at that time, it, we, won't, we cannot point this current dot next to beginning. So that is the problem because the link will go here. This is pointed to null. That's why. So here until current dot next is not equal to that means current will be pointed to the last node of the link. And we have taken length equal to 1 initially. So that's not a problem. If current equal to null, we have taken the length equal to 0. So now increment the length. And current will be equal to current dot next. So yeah. Once you find the length. Now, as I said, current on next, you have to point it to where head beginning of the link list. So, you have the pointer now being beginning of the link. Current hasn't moved to the beginning of the link, but current on next is pointing to the beginning of the link. So, that is what it means. So, now k will be equal to k modulus length. And after this, k again will be equal to length minus k k modulus length is and length minus k because still traversing till here. So why the k becomes 0? So what this will do is until k equal to 0, uh, it will get decrementing k by 1 in, at each loop. So what we need to do is current equal to current dot next we have to do. So what does this k approaches to 0 does is until k not equal to 0, it will form current to current dot next and each iteration will do decrement the k by 1 that is 1. So combining this we write only one sentence. Now at this time point head head will be equal to current dot next and yeah now current dot next will be equal to 
So at last we need to return the head. That is where the starting point of the leg place we have of the rotating. One R is missing. Yeah. The whole of it is fine. Okay. If you understood the solution, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. We'll come up with other videos next session. Until then, keep learning. Thank you.